So here are the five must have or the top Android apps that you must actually have. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Genie Guide. In this video, we are going to be discussing the five most my personal favorite applications on the list of Android in 2023. So make sure to watch the video till the very end. Now the very first application on the list is the KWGT widget pack. So maybe you want to have fancy looking widgets like this on your home screen because your default widgets are actually quite boring, right? Maybe you want to change the look and feel of your widget creator stack up on each other for that i will make sure to drop all the apps download link in the description box so app number one is kwgt just click on the link and you just want to make sure to actually download the kwgt widget maker application now what you can do is whenever you actually want to add a widget right let's say i just open up a new home screen i long press on it i tap on the widgets button here i have to select the option called kwgt here and then i have to choose any of these styles then drag it on top of my home screen and first i'll simply select a size that i want my widget to have so basically let's say this one now after i'm done selecting the placement i will just tap on this button here and then it will ask me to install some other kwgt packs so this is the widget app right and for this widget app to work you have different type of kwgt packs you have 180 kwgt and different type of kwgt packs have different type of widgets so let's say you like a specific widget on the list you can just select them here the fencing thing that you can do is you can go to layers and also increase the size of this specific widget then tap on the save button now before you do that you can also customize how each of these looks like so you can go to overlap group you can select rectangle group you can change the font or whatever else you prefer if you want though you can even increase and then decrease the size of this specific widget like this and you can have more space for other applications but for now i'm just going to delete it and then the second application on the list for that is let me open up my browser again and app number two is we have this application called Zez, which is basically a wallpaper application now there are many many types of wallpaper applications that you have on your play store but this is actually my personal favorite if i open this application over here now you can actually purchase the premium version but i just like to go with the free version of course because you can have it for free for everything so why would you want to pay if you want though you can just pay for the full version wait for the application to load up and then you can have some amazing wallpapers on your home screen as well as your lock screen and then the third app on the list is basically let me just come and show you let me just close all this the third app on the list we have power amp music player now this is a very very powerful music player and this is again a premium application if you want to purchase it that's totally up to you because you can see this is only a trial for now if i just open this application you can allow and give it all of the access this application actually requires then you can do the folder selection and then whatever else that you prefer once you select a specific folder here i'll just tap on use this folder and then i'll just tap on allow now i can just tap on save and basically i'll just play some music over here there are a couple of things that you can do within this music player you can change the equalizer as well as the effect you can change how it looks like you can customize the volume you can customize the treble and the bass this is very very powerful application even than the dolby atmos so these were our third app on the list now let me show you the another app is number fourth on the list and that's an application called snap speed now snap speed is basically an app that was made by google of course and then if you open the snap speed application it has many of the editing features to edit your photos even than your native gallery which means even then if you have a samsung phone it has more features packed in inside this application to edit it so i'll just allow it allow the permissions and then i'll just select a photo i want to edit and basically first of all you can add some portrait effect you can add some smoothness you can add any type of faded glow whatever else you prefer in this case over here and once you're done with this you can just go to tools and the tools is where you have all of the features you can see tonal contrast drama you can add some vintage you can make it black and white you have lens blur head pose portrait no you can also tune the image if you want because you can see you can just tune it depending upon how much brightness you want and then just tap on done and if you go to export you can finally save this photo last but not the list the final application on the list we have is the application called volume slider so what does this app do by default whenever you want to increase or decrease your volume you can just see we have this normal boring volume icons right now this app will let you change the look of this volume icon because it is also updated for one ui as you can see just tap on the open button all you have to do is just click on start and then just enable the services it wants so let me go to this services here and then actually tap on volume stars allow it tap on allow then you can see it started now when i show you my new volume icon you can see it's in a much more different format and if i tap on the icon i can also customize it depending upon my own wish so let me just show you 
like this and these were some of the most top five must have applications for your android device hope this video helped you if it did help you then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have got any more questions though feel free to leave them down thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you in the next video